Hi guys. Today we have our last new video of the chapter. We're continuing with natural logarithms. Um, and that means that we are going to only use the LN version of log today and not the LOG version. For today's last video, we will be solving equations where there is an E in the original equation. So yesterday we solved equations where there was an LN in the original equation, and then we switched it to the letter E instead. And so we're going to kind of do the opposite of that today. So we're going to start with an E in the original equation. And then by the end of the problem, we will have an LN, a natural log. So let's go ahead and get started. We are continuing from yesterday's videos, which is why it's starting with example number seven. In this problem, I have an equation written in exponential form. E to the power of X minus two equals 12. Since this is currently in exponential form, my first step is going to be to switch it to logarithmic form. When we're switching to logarithmic form, we do the wheel, but because this has an E in it, we are not going to use an LOG log. We're going to use an LN log. Now, if you're not used to the LN logs yet, that's okay. So when we do the wheel, we say log base E of 12 equals the exponent, the x minus 2. Log base e of 12 equals the x minus 2. Now, I'm not going to write log base e on the PowerPoint because that's not uh, the correct way to write that. Anytime you have a log base e, instead, you're going to write an ln. So that's why I have an ln on the PowerPoint because log base e is actually written as ln. Okay, now we are solving for x, um, and the x has to be by itself for us to be done with this problem. So my next step is going to be to add the 2. When I add the 2, I like to add it in front of the log so that I don't accidentally add the 2 and the 12 together. The 12 is connected to the natural log, and so we can't actually do any math with the number 12. And so I have found that if I write the plus 2 after the natural log of 12, that I will probably add the 2 and the 12 together and make that a 14, and that would not be correct. So I like to put the plus 2 in front. And then um, that's it. Now I've solved for x. As we've been doing, um, this is called the exact answer, or last chapter we called it the calculator ready answer. And then you could actually use your calculator to find the final answer for this problem. If you are using your calculator, again, you wanna do two plus the natural log of 12. If you put the two after the natural log, you do have to make sure that your calculator also does not accidentally add the 12 and the two together. So if you're gonna write, if you're gonna type in the natural log of 12 like this, make sure that you're closing your parentheses after the 12 so that it's only taking the natural log of the 12, and then you can add the two after that. If you don't close your parentheses, it will take the natural log of 14, and you will get the wrong answer to this problem. And so the decimal answer is 4.485, rounding to three numbers after the decimal, as we have been doing. Again, both of these are considered to be answers. One of them is an exact answer, and the other one is a rounded answer. I have one more example for you. In this problem, it is not in exponential form right now. For exponential form, we need to have something to a power equals everything else. We do have something to a power. We have e to the power of negative x, but there's an extra number 2 in front of the e. And that extra number 2 is not part of the exponent. Um, so the 2 needs to be moved to the other side. So anything that's not part of the e to the power, so if you have a 2 right here that's being multiplied, or maybe you have something extra or at the end that's being added or subtracted, that needs to be moved over as a pre-step. So I'm going to divide by 2 on both sides and get it into exponential form. Now that it's in exponential form, I can rewrite it in logarithmic form. Remember, it's log base e of 10 equals negative x. 
log base e, or that's that's ln of uh, 10 equals negative x. So the natural log of 10 equals negative x. I do need the x to be all by itself, so I can be done with this problem. So I'm going to divide by negative 1. And that negative sign just goes in front of the natural log of 10. Again, that negative does not go on the 10. The natural log of 10 is one whole unit. So the negative has to stay outside of that unit. If you did want to do something with the negative, you can make it an exponent on the 10. Uh, we learned earlier this week that a number in front of a log can be pushed up and made an exponent. But just leave it in front of that natural log. This is my exact answer. And then you can type that into your calculator to get your rounded answer. Negative, the natural log of 10 is my exact answer. And negative 2.303 is my rounded answer. We will practice some more of these during our live session, um, but for now, this is the end of our last video for chapter seven.